Okay, let's give Computer Impossible another try here. This is a 10-2 game, French Defense. The last time I played against it, I was white. So let's see how this one turns out. I've had this position many times against it before. Not necessarily why I was recording, but... Usually establishes a pawn on e5. Yep. Kingside Fianchetto. I'm going to play bishop to e7, so I don't have to worry about any fork with e5. This will happen soon. Um, I'm not so sure I want to castle kingside, because I would fall under maybe some attack. So I wonder if I could retain a little bit of flexibility here. I'm thinking about queen c7 and maybe getting some queenside development in. Working on getting this guy working. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna I'm not so sure I know where I want my queen just yet, so let's go with B six. B six bishop to B seven. And I could still follow up with this. Let's see if E five is gonna be played now. Hmm. So this is a bit interesting. I wonder if I should castle now or still delay kingside development or kingside castling. Queen c7, yeah, let's still stay a bit flexible. e5, I'm going to play knight d7, so this is certainly different. Different look from the computer here, from what I'm used to. Usually it's already playing e5, so how much more can I really delay Castling. I could go in either direction here. Hmm. You know, usually it gets to a point where you, you know, if uh, you're trying to remain flexible, you run out of useful moves, and I think I'm close to that point, so I kind of have to get on with just getting some development in. I wonder if I should consider capturing first and then kingside castling. Hmm. You know, with this last move, bishop f4 is on the cards. Gaining a tempo against my queen. Hmm. I won't be... I was thinking for a moment to capture on e4, and after the recapture, then I'm in a position to meet bishop f4 with e5, but that's probably not a good choice. This knight's going to be quick to make use of d5 if I'm ever pushing like this. Hmm. What other candidate moves are there here? I really go queenside? I'm not so sure I'm a fan of queenside castle. This this bishop here is going to be a fantastic defender of white's kingside. In, in some race against one another's king, he's going to be he's going to be really good. I think I should run with kingside castling now. At least I got some quick queenside development in. Should e5 be played? But I'm expecting bishop f4 and no. How do you like that? Okay. Hmm. My first thought is to take with the knight. Not just so bishop f4 doesn't come with tempo, but I want to keep this diagonal open. Let's go with this. Plus, I want to kind of keep this structure as is. Okay, I'm... Hmm. I'm a bit happy to see this move, to be honest. Uh, if I do take, I'm helping white to develop. But I still want to do that because I want to have my rook, my queen rook, quickly placed on the d file so that I can meet bishop f4 with queen here and I'm staying well coordinated with my rooks. Okay. Hmm. I think I have to be a bit prepared for a d5 break. This point is, uh,. Something I could try to pile up on, that's for sure. Uh, my queen on c7 is unprotected, so something like... If I play a, a flight square, d4, pawn takes, take with the pawn, then maybe I have some problem here. Queen being unprotected. There is maybe some tension between our queens at some stage. Hmm. I don't know that I could really do anything great against d3. I'm just trying to prepare right now at this 
at this stage for some pawn break. The d4 break is the only one that I'm seeing in the position. You know, I may still just run with this. Eight, let's just consider h6, d4, pawn takes. If pawn takes pawn, I don't think I have any issues with, like, queen d7. I think that should be fine. Let me get a useful move in here, a flight square. Let's see what white comes up with. Okay, so some slow improving type of things here going on. Some improving moves. Bishop f6, I imagine, is pretty good. Hmm. I'd like to trade light square bishops. On bishop f6, I wonder if there's going to be knight d2 to c4 or e4. Hmm. If bishop f6, knight d2, I'd like to move my knight, but I think knight e4 is going to be a bit of a bug, threatening to then take my bishop with check. Maybe right now is the point where I should go with doubling on the d file. That seems sensible. Let's go with it. He's not doing anything on f8. Okay, so there we go. Dark square bishop exchange? Um, I'm a fan of that, I think. Yeah, let's go with the dark square bishop exchange. Let's see what... Wow, okay, I'm feeling pretty comfortable. <laughs> okay, let's go with rook or queen. Hmm. I don't think there's anything wrong with rook takes. Let's go with rook takes, yeah. Rook takes, and there we go. Okay, so we got this little knight maneuver. I could go to a5 to make sure he's not going to jump into c4. Um, what's another idea? What about knight to e2? Knight e2 will stay a bit more central. Yeah, let's go to e... or knight to e7. Knight e7 seems fine. I'm expecting knight e4. Whoa, okay. I only have one reply, so I'm happy with that exchange. And now we got that pesky knight. Uh, thinking drop all the way back. Yeah, let's drop all the way back. Otherwise, rookie 7, knight e5 comes with tempo. Alright, I feel like this should be a pretty equalish position. Uh, knight c6. Uh, yeah, let's go with the knight c6. Knight c6, queen d7, queen d5. Now, I could think about starting to double again. In fact, let's throw my rook up as far as it can go. If knight here retreat, then I drop back. I'm fine with that. In fact, I feel like it would be some type of rep repetition if I went here. I think the knight might even come back here. I don't think white is any better. Let's test the waters here. If the knight comes back, I know that the computer thinks it's not better. Okay. Uh, so what about just doubling? Let's go with the double. And there, okay. So I'm, I'm going to come right back. I'm going to move forward. Any tricks here? I don't think so. I have pretty good coordination. Three minutes in change. Knight, okay, pawn there. Hmm. Can I get my queen over? I would really like a queen exchange. In fact, I'd really like a knight exchange. How can I make that happen? You know, I was thinking queen a, queen a6, but rook takes pawn then would be pretty good. Getting two pieces into my knight. Queen a6, this guy would be unprotected. So let's not do that. Maybe I could consider knight or a king h8. Although f7 is a bit soft. Hmm. Not quite sure. What about trying to kick this knight away? a6 and pawn push? Hmm. That seems like it's making some progress. Let's try and make some progress here. Kick this knight from his post. And let's follow through. So this is a little bit more vulnerable. All right. And I could play this move, b4, and try and get the d4 square. Uh, I like keeping this pawn here. In fact, I think... Hmm... What could I do here? I like keeping my pawn here. Kind of offsets this knight. Uh, I wonder. This pawn, how do I crash through? If I play b4, this is going to be a bit sensitive. Huh. 
Okay, I gotta try something. What is that something gonna be? I'm gonna drop back here. Just one step. Why there exactly? I'm not sure. What about a rook exchange? Let's see what it does on a rook exchange. This knight. Oh, okay. Let's queen here now. I have control over the d4 break. Okay. It's gonna come over in this direction. Hmm. Pesky, pesky computer. <laughs> uh, okay. I should probably try to contest that file. He's maybe a bit misplaced. Let's get back over here. Rook a8. And then drop my other rook back. Okay, let's try this. Rook takes, queen takes. All right, I'm going to do the same. I like my knight better than... Oh, that is so weakening. If a human player ever did that, uh, that would... It's just not good. <laughs> With the queen... Still so many pieces on the board, though. The queen's ready to play to f2 and target c5. Let's improve my queen position. She could do better, that's for sure. Let's get up here and target c4. Or, I'm sorry, b3. I think c4 might be played. Okay, I'm fine with that. Takes. Pawn takes. Okay, I could get a queen exchange. Hmm. That knight is so tricky, though. I think I do best to keep the queens on the board. Though it's kind of tough. Here, there's going to be g4. Queen's ready to snip him and then be on my knight. So queen here, I could get the queens off and keep pressure here. Let's try that. Queen takes, knight takes, and I'm on this. Okay. Take here and... Queen takes, queen, and take on my knight, and then I'm on b3. Okay. Going for something else here, clearly. What about rook here? I think I have to go for it. I gotta defend that pawn. Huh. What can I do here? Queen takes queen and then knight here. Looking to snip this guy. I think I have to go for it. Get my knight in here. Grab this pawn. What am I missing? It's gonna be a check. I don't see what I'm missing. I could, could have, even if that pawn was a defend, I could still take it because of this. There's no way I am worse here. <laughs> There's definitely no way I'm worse. Let's see. Let's throw in some checks here. Uh, check, another check. Pick off this guy. He's ready to get here. Um, let's take this pawn. Knight takes, I'm gonna give this check. At least I got the tricky knights off the board. That's good news, but is this pawn going to get rolling? Uh, let's try and get behind him. Definitely have to try and get behind him. So how can I, how can I get rolling here? Uh, I got to get a pass pawn of my own. An outside pass pawn, so I'm paving the way for that. Um, let's do now... Very little time. I gotta try this. It's gonna be very fast. Gotta keep running with this. Cut the king off. I think I should have a draw here, and I think that's the best I could get. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So I'm gonna be able to draw this. Time should not be an issue. Can I win it? Let's bank some time here. It's gonna be tough to win. Hmm, and try to sneak my king around a bit. Get this pawn here. And if I went there, there would have been a check. Let's try something else. I'm going to come back to f7. Let's try this. The computer could definitely still mess up here. I'm going to try and come around on the, on the h file. Another check, g7, h6. Okay. Keep their king cut off. I'm expecting rook b8 at some stage. Ooh, it didn't go rook b8, really? That is a bit surprising. It should still be a draw, but let's throw in a couple more checks, get some time back. 
Uh, hmm. Really can't make progress. I have to play rook to g8, but I'm never. I'm not really making much progress. I think this is just a dead draw now. Um, let's just play it out. It shouldn't mess it up. I don't think the computer's gonna mess this one up, but we'll we'll give it a shot here. Let's give a check. Play here, I guess. It's gonna give another check. We'll see the the technique by the computer coming up. <laughs> and it should be playing here. Yep, that's the draw. And let's just go forward with the request to get in some checking distance, and it does. And we'll just we'll just go into a repetition to have this one finish like so. It has to keep coming back over now. And sure enough, this one's going to end as a repetition, which is better than the usual case against this monster. I almost just hit resign by mistake. <laughs> that would have been terrible. Oh man, all right. I'm I'm actually happy with the draw there. Usually ends up playing e5, but we had a different structural change capturing on d5 and this pawn here. Hmm. At the end of the day, he was a bit of a liability being on a half open file. Some piece exchanges and then this crazy f4 move, something that you would really never see a human do. I like my position here, just doing a quick piece-by-piece -piece assessment. you just having the better knight. Compare these guys here. The rooks, at the end of the day, they ended up offsetting. F4, the rooks coming off. Mm, I get the d4 square, but they kick my queen from that central post. It wasn't enough. I don't know. If I could have tried to convert that better in the end, I was up a pawn, but it was still tough. That uh, C-pawn was really tying me down. I really couldn't make much progress here at this stage. My king, as soon as he tries to get active, you know, if he's ever playing up here, there's that rook check, and then he promotes. Oh, well. Well, I'll take a draw, that's for sure. And uh, we'll try 10-2 for another time. Anyhow, that's all for this video, and as always, I hope you got something out of it. Take care. Bye.